What is happening guys? Welcome back to another reaction. We are checking out the latest release from Linkin Park over each other. Very excited about this one as I feel like from some of the comments that I've seen that this is going to be a completely, a slightly different vibe. Not completely, but a different vibe. From what I understood, Emily kind of like takes the reins uh, over this song and it's 100% going to be her vocals so I'm very very excited so without further ado the the first frame is already pretty grim with a car accident of sorts and there's a, a certain blonde head that we see um that potentially didn't make it so let's get into it Oh no. the vocal melody over the top The twist. Oh, you M Night Shamalama Lama Lamed me. Holy shit. Oh, my God, that was incredible. Jesus. The song itself is beautiful. The lyrics, the music video itself is like really kind of like, it's, it's beautifully tragic. The cosmic levels of irony, um, when at first you kind of like felt like she, Emily, Emily's character was like in the wrong because she got a call for someone that wasn't, she was not supposed to be in contact with. And then like, the whole relationship kind of like crumbled while they were in the car yelling at each other not paying attention to what is right in front of them which is kind of like ironic within like the lyrics of like trying to find color in a world that is black and white and like um tr trying to just being tired of talking over each other and be ignorant of each other's feelings and just trying to be the loudest in the room instead of being you know uh, instead of listening, everybody talks, nobody listens, which leads to this accident in which you felt like Emily was the one who survived, which would come with copious amounts of guilt when in reality, it's almost like co cosmic 
karma that Emily em, Emily's character ended up being the one who who died as she was the one who was like I, I guess there's like some cheating stuff or like some stuff within the relationship that kind of like made them get into this fight following the phone call the acting was absolutely um awesome like the cinematography was really really cool and like within like two minutes and 57 seconds like they they legitimately make you buy into like this this relationship like within a couple of seconds uh of like those little happy moments that they had before they went into the bathroom and like they were both smiling and then the phone call kind of like ruined this entire fucking thing um as it was like the element like the i guess the, the straw that broke the camel's back and like the whole representation um oh and they're in korea actually i just noticed it now um and like the whole representation of like not listening to each other being the demise of us so it's like the killing of the relationship uh which is the car crash and then the the death of um emily's character is like the the literal death but it's more so kind of like also they did a phenomenal job of like emphasizing a metaphor with the car crash as is like her relationship is a car crash going 100 miles per hour and nobody's following fucking directions, but also emphasizing like a real story within like an actual character dying. And it's almost as if like Emily, while she thought that she was the one who was alive, like the other character, the partner, almost like it's as if she killed her with her actions. So like the, the levels of uh, guilt and the levels of like me not paying attention and me being you know too obsessed with just making myself loud and expressing words instead of expressing emotions cost you your life um so that was really also really really uh beautifully done they did so many things incredibly well within like the actual music video which is kind of like the main thing that we talk about on this channel um the the actual music video and, so, and some of the lyrics the, the lyrics i mean they're they're absolutely beautiful and they relate to so many fucking different things in life the actual instrumental and like the structure of the song almost sounded cinematic in a way especially when the first pre-chorus hit it just sounded like i'm watching a trailer if that makes any sense the production was really really cool um the the bridge was really really beautiful and like the vocalization was really really cool uh the lyrics this is the letter that i didn't write looking for color in the black and white skyscrapers were created on shaky ground and i'm trying to find my patience like literally building a a relationship on a faulty and shaky foundation um knowing that it's eventually going to crumble but i am in denial um i'm lying to myself i'm masking shit instead of being truthful i just do whatever is necessary to maybe not offend someone or you know to appease someone or in a relationship you know not offend the partner and whatnot this is the letter that i didn't write you know this is all all the things that i actually wanted to say and i couldn't until it was too fucking late because now i'm dead or the relationship is dead or we're through she says i can't go to sleep i lie awake at night i'm so tired of talking over each other so say what's underneath i want to see your side we don't have to be talking over each other so it went through all we do is talking over each other to then we don't have to talk over each other we just have to listen and not treat this as a as a game of shouting and yelling and just proving a point just for the sake of proving the point because there's always nuance and consideration and appreciating another side and just at the end of the day we're all want to be decent fucking human beings anyway so i felt like that was kind of kind of cool uh, and the fact that they took it in the sense of like a relationship to where if i made all of those feelings known the car wouldn't crash because we wouldn't be in that predicament but so it's partially my fault for being caught with that phone call and kind of like building this relationship on a faulty and shaky foundation uh because you know for that one little small moment of happiness that they had as they entered the the bathroom when they were smiling that was like the literally like one of the few if not the only moment of happiness that they expressed in this everything else is surrounded by misery and fucking you know um chaos i love the song i really really fucking love the song I love the score so much. I I love Emily's voice in this one. Um, 
I don't know what else to say. Honestly, it, it, it was beautiful. It's a very different direction um, and, and one that I very much welcome because once again, this isn't, Emily wasn't meant to replace anyone. Chester is never going to be replaced. This is just a new chapter of Linkin Park and extending the life of Linkin Park by allowing a new member in to um, vocalize all of these lyrics and new meanings and, 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 and just new, you know, um, new lyrics and, and, and new letters to, to fans and new ways to create stories and, and whatnot. So that's how I take it. And I feel like Emily has done a phenomenal job uh, with all of these three songs so far. And uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever is next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.